Hey guys, this is Kevin Lutman for another Ion Films tutorial, and today we're going to look at some workflow tips from Final Cut to After Effects, then from After Effects back to Final Cut. So, um, we're here inside of Final Cut, as you can see, but um, first I want to talk about some organizational tips. So usually when I'm working on a project, I keep all my projects in the uh, same file here on the computer, and then I just have everything organized here. So for this example, I'm going to use the uh, double cross movie I've been working on for quite a while. So see, this is how I normally would organize. This is my file system. This is how I would organize when I do my videos. Of course, you can adapt this. You can change it, but this is usually just the base of how I do it on. So the first folder is clips. Um, pretty self-explanatory. These are the raw clips from your camera. The uh, complete uncut clips. You know, they got the you know the goes in there. All the extra seconds at the end. <laughs> um okay so now we're moving on we got final exports well that's of course your uh, final the movie the final export when the movie is done i will export it into this folder right now it's not done so the um, folder is empty i'm just going to skip down here to effects shots now these are shots that require effects to be added to them as you can see here um there's a good one here see in this shot we obviously um mm, come on we need to uh, add a muzzle flash, right? We need to add like a little muzzle flash, maybe a blowback of the gun. So that's why it's there. It's the, th this is pretty much the effects bin. This is where all the shots that need effects are gonna be getting their effects. And this is where I drop them in for now. Then we got the FX exports. Um, over here you see we have the same shot, but now an effect has been added to it, right? This is where I exported it out of After Effects. Then, um, this is where um, this file system can become adaptable, where you can make other folders in here, of course, right? So I have one called Intro Clips, because this is all these clips have to do with the intro to my video, and they were filmed on a different day. So just to separate them from the other clips, I made a new folder. And then we have our project files, which this includes everything from the Final Cut file to all the After Effects files to even a Mocha file. So any files that... um. That, that were saved, say any effects shots in After Effects or any other programmer, say if you had um, any Encore, Adobe Encore files, you would also put them in here and, and stuff like that, or in, maybe even any cell text files. You could just put them in project files so everything is completely organized. So if you need to find something, you can easily find it. And I, you know, I really can't stress that enough because for making videos, you need to be organized, you need to know where everything is. It's it just speeds up the process so much. So, um, Let's go in here into Final Cut. So you can see here, this is the, um, I'm in the uh, double cross movie right now. So here we have a clip of uh, someone typing here. So then, as you can see over here, we have this um, this monitor, which I'm going to need to do a screen replacement on. So that that's a pretty easy, you know, do a screen replacement. But the first thing I want to do is get it out of Final Cut, right? And I don't want to be exporting my entire movie just through effects on one shot. So what I do is once I completely have my shot cut, right, the shot is cut to the length that I like, you know, um, I've edited all the sound, it's completely finished except for the effect. What I usually do is um, I'm going to copy it with Control c Then I, uh, I actually, I have this other timeline which I created earlier and it's called Render. And what I'm going to do here is Control v And now I have this one clip in this timeline, as you can see, just this one clip completely cut to my liking. So I'm going to select the clip, I'm going to go File. I'm going to go export QuickTime Movie. Now here, this is pretty much like a raw export. It's not really compressing it, which I like. So here I would export this shot, which needs to be, which um, effect needs to be added in inside of After Effects. So I would export this in FX shots. I've already exported it, so I'm not going to do that. Um, but if you were to just click save and then also here you can select if you just want the video or the audio only. Sometimes you just do the video only because uh, I don't really do audio and after effects right so but sometimes it comes in handy but um, normally I just go video only then just save um, it renders out really quickly in fact so that's good so then once I have that one file let's bring this over here of course I put it in FX shots right so it's uh, this one here right there you go it's pretty much uncompressed just uh, in its raw size right there 43 megabytes so with this shot, what I usually do is I'll throw this into After Effects, but I've already done this, so I'll just um, I'll show you what I mean here. 
so here it is inside our project files, right? I'm just finding everything really fast. That's the importance of having a file system like this. So now we're booting up After Effects. It's loading. There we go. So as you can see, the effect is already done. So all I did was pretty much um, put that raw clip into After Effects. You can see here it's in the uh, project files. I did all the effects. And then from here, what I'll usually do is just render it out. Um, here I'll show you. So normally I would just, um, you can export it in whatever you want. I usually pick H.264. Right? Uh, and these are the settings that I picked for it. They seem to work pretty well for almost every type of video. Um, I don't want the audio, so I'm just not going to select that, but you can if you want to. Then click OK. And then over here in the output 2, I'm going to output this to my double cross FX exports. Right? And this would be exported into this file here so everything is still we're keeping everything completely organized exporting in the correct place I would do that but I've already done that so I'll just show you bring the finder up here so in FX exports I would have this right where it's um, the effect has been added it has been exported and it's just this one clip nothing more nothing less now when I'm done with After Effects I will jump back into Final Cut Pro. and Final Cut Pro, I'll go back to my sequence that I was working on, which is this one here. And what I will do, which I uh, haven't actually done in this video, but um, good idea to demonstrate. So as you can see here, everything in Final Cut also is completely organized. I have my clips, my raw clips. I have my sounds, all the sound effects that I used. Then I have the timelines, all the timelines that I have. So I'm actually, I'm going to create a new bin. It's called bins, not folders. I don't know why. And I'm going to call this one the FX Exports. Yes, good. So here in FX Exports, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the um, effect that I've been working on, and I'm just going to drag it back into FX Exports so it's all completely organized. I know that these are the shots with effects, and these are the shots without effects, the rock clips. So I'm just going to take this shot, I'm just going to put it over top the clip that I took out originally, and there you have it. The um, effect is there. It's exactly the same length. Everything's exactly the same. All that you need to do now is hit Command R, and it will write the video. It will render the video, in other words, so you can preview it in the timeline. Now this part, it takes some time sometimes, as long as your clips aren't too long, really. Just leave it and go do something else for a bit. It usually doesn't take that long, but I'll probably skip this for the um, tutorial. Okay, so I'm back, and it finished 100%, so as you can see, this is now completely previewable with all its uh, sound and everything. Of course, the sound is from the old clip, but if you didn't change the length, it should still be exactly the same, and everything should match up. Right? So, you know, pretty simple. Anyways, um, just... This is how I work from my Final Cut to After Effects. There may be other ways, other ways to do this, but I'm just going to recap mine for you guys. So first, of course, we're going to take a raw clip. We're going to put it into a new render timeline. We're going to export it out as a QuickTime movie. We're going to put that into After Effects. You're going to do your effects. You're going to export out of After Effects. Then you're just going to re-import it back into Final Cut, clip by clip. Now, yes, this can get tedious sometimes, but um, I find that it's probably the best way to do it. If you guys have any other ways of doing this, you know, I'd like to hear them. If you want to send me a message or just put it in the comments section below, that'd be great. So uh, we can get some other ways of doing this that uh, I might not know about. So this has been another Iron Films tutorial by uh, Kevin Lutman, and I'll see you guys next time.